In this video, we are going to set up some context and use the use context API to consume the data from the context. This is my fifth video in my React Hook series. So if you haven't checked those videos out, make sure you check them out first. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe. Now let's jump in. The use context hook lets us easily consume context from anywhere in our application. In this video, we're going to refactor a little application I have built here to use context and actually consume it via the use context hook. So at the moment, what I have is a themes object and it's being passed down to add a light theme to these buttons inside my header bar here. And I can toggle this to dark as well. The problem with it, the current setup is that it kind of suffers with prop drilling a little bit. So let's just go through all of the areas we have to pass down the theme first. So from the landing page, we have to pass the theme to the header. And then in the header, we pass it down to the button group, which holds the two buttons. And the two buttons are themed buttons. And they eventually receive the theme and use them. So to avoid all that prop drilling, wouldn't it be easier if we could just use a theme where we need it? So in this video, that's what we're going to go over. We're going to refactor this to avoid that prop drilling and just use the context API. So let's jump back into the app file. And the first thing we're going to do is create some context. So creating context is pretty easy. So we can bring in a, something from React called create context. And as you can imagine, what create context does is it creates some context for us. So all you have to do is call the function on a variable that we want to use as our context provider. So for our context, we're going to call it the theme context. So Let's make a new variable called const theme context, if I could spell. And we'll say create context. And the create context uh, takes a default value, as you can see here. And the default value is what we will receive if there is no provider given to our application. That might not make too much sense now, so I'll show you a sample of that being used a little later on. So until then, let's just put in teams.light as our default because that's currently what we have as our our default here anyway so to make this a little bit easier to consume i'm actually and before we start uh using it in a couple places in our application i'm actually going to split this theme context out into its own file so in our files in the use context directory because that's the lesson we're on i'm going to create a new file called theme context.js and from the app I'm actually going to copy and paste this over oh wrong file and obviously I will need the context oh and oh, I just closed it getting a bit confused there so then i will just need to import react and create context from react awesome and then we will export default theme context so that now we can pass it. Oh, and my linters give me a nice little hint here. I don't even need it because I'm not using any JSX in this file. So now we have our theme context set up. Uh, let's import it into our app file and start using it. So we can get rid of all this now. And we'll get rid of that import. And let's import our theme context import theme context 
from theme context. And the theme context has a provider property. So we can wrap uh, the elements we want to pass down some values to in with this provider. So let's show you a sample of this. I'm going to wrap this in parentheses. And just to move it around, make it a little bit neater. And then we have a provider. And then we can close this off. So the theme context provider then has one prop that we pass it, and that's a value. And this is going to be the value of the context that we're going to pass around. So for us, and I forgot this, that we'll actually need the themes here. So let's take this back as well. So for the themes, we're going to need this again. And we'll say themes dot dark. So currently that doesn't change anything as you can see, but what we're going to do is actually refactor this out now to remove all of the the references or the props that we're passing down all the way. So I'm going to start deleting this and this is going to break for a second because uh, the themes, themed buttons uh, rely on this theme prop. So let's just show you. So I'm going to remove the landing page theme. So now we're going to go through each one and start removing out the theme. That's going to be deleted here as well. So we don't need that in the header anymore. And then in the header, I'll do the same. Jump in to the button group. And again, just going to delete the themes. And remove it from here until we finally get to the place we want to use this. So we're going to import uh, the use context hook here. So this is how we're going to consume it. So we're going to say use context. And we're going to have to import the context we want to use. So import theme context from theme context. And then we're going to pass this into our use context hook. So we're going to we were expecting a very or a prop called theme, so we're going to delete that from here, and we're going to create a new variable called theme, which is going to equal use context, and we're going to pass the context that we want to use. Awesome. So now we have the dark theme set up. So if we go back over and we look back in our application, we can see if we change this here to light, we get our light theme. And we don't have to pass the props all the way down. So in our team context provider though, where is it? Oh, here it is. I had said that I set a default here. And how does this default work? Well, basically, now that you're dependent on um, a context uh, a property or the context value in our component, what happens if we don't give it a provider? Well, that's basically what our default value becomes. So if we go back to the app, and if we added, or if we remove the provider here, you will see it still actually works. So, and if we go back into our theme context and we change the default to dark, we will get the dark defaults. 
So your components will look for its nearest provider. So you could have multiple theme contexts with different themes in different parts of your application. So I don't know why you would exactly need to do that in this instance, but it's just to be aware of that it, when you're using use context, it will go look for its closest parent provider. And that comes with a little caveat. When we're using these things, we can see that our theme button uh, becomes very opinionated. We'll see that here because now it's reliant on something that isn't being passed down. So this makes it a little less reusable. And I think that's where we jump into this caveat with this. By using context, your components become opinionated. So context should be mainly used by data that needs to be accessible by many components at different nesting levels. So use it sparingly because it makes component reuse very difficult or at least a little bit more difficult. And we are always striving to make components reusable when we're building things in React. Next week, we will be going over creating custom hooks, which will make it easier for you to share logic, around, logic and state around your applications. So make sure you don't miss that one. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, throw them down in the comments below or join our new Discord channel, which I'll also link in the description below. Until next time, happy coding.